Picture this, you're going about your business on a normal Monday afternoon. Potential clients walk in and within five minutes you have lost what you would have made in 10 months. It is at this liquor shop along Kiambu Road, Nairobi, where Cindy Wanjiru, a mobile money transfer agent, and Joyce Nyambura, a liquor cashier, are captured in what bore all the hallmarks of their routine day at work. Monday the 11th of this month, 3.20 p.m., two clients walk in. A lady in purple and a man in a white t-shirt. The lady walks straight to Wanjiru in the pretext of making a liquor inquiry. Nikawa welcome kama customer kawaida and they wanted Jack Daniel so nikawapeleka mali na kuaga then they wanted the 5 liter kwambie hiyo hawezi pata huko as this conversation went on the man gets a note we are later told was an old 50 shilling note from his pocket and hands it to the lady in the liquor counter Joyce Nyambura it is the note that the women suspect caused all trouble. He goes ahead to say he needed to effect a large amount withdrawal from the mobile money transfer agent. So can we transact 97,000 or withdraw 97,000? Uh, they can only have 60. So I went to the place and I went to the transaction. After being handed the now familiar old 50 shilling note, at this point, a second woman makes her way in and immediately draws the attention of Joyce Nyambura. Notice how she takes her far from the money transfer agent, who now has the two other suspects beside her. Confusion sets in. Wanjiru opens the cash box and hands the woman in purple some notes. She counts and hands them back. After a short conversation riddled with gestures to ensure her full attention was on them, she takes another bundle of notes, counts them as she shows her male counterpart. The money agent still in a trance hands over all the day's taking. Notice how it exchanges hands before the man separates and pockets some of it. All this time, the woman who entered last is still distracting Joyce Wanjiro on the other side of this liquor store. She says the conversation between them made little sense. I think a bit like your conversation kind of like hivo hivo hadi wenzake wa marize kuchukua pesa. It was not until the three made their way out at 3.26 p.m. and disappeared that the mobile agent snapped out of the trance and noticed they had been swindled. So when you were talking, you were talking about the car, so I just felt something. I mean, I was talking about the car. Then I was talking about the car and I was talking about the car. Something I've never thought of. I was talking about the car, 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 I was talking about the car. Quick calculation revealed that in the five-minute encounter, the mobile money transfer agent lost 51,000 Kenya shillings. The bizarre incident was reported at Runda police station where investigations are going on. It still remains a mystery to Nyambura and Wanjiro how they handed the suspect the money without a single question. The suspects are yet to be identified or arrested. Hassan Mugambi, Citizen TV.